Welcome back, text editor hoppers. That isn't foreshadowing in any way whatsoever. So you know how if you make like an app using Neutralino, it gives you multiple files for your app that need to be all in the same directory, which sucks. And there's other ways that you make apps, you know, that also require you to have multiple files in the same directory. Well, I'm going to show you how to take all of those files and pack them all up into an app image, which you can just run like that. And this is a multi-file app. It's my amazing, beautiful app that I've made using Neutralino. And it's supposed to show your actual RAM usage, but like I'm 99% sure this is wrong. I don't care though. I'm not here to fix the bugs. I'm here to show you how to make an app image. So, ow. Let's get started. So to get started, you're going to want to, you know, go over to the place where you've got all your apps, you know, files. So since I've made this app with Neutralino, I just have to run new release. Wait a second here and done. We've got our binaries, our res.new and our subscribe Linux executable. So if I open this up, it's still got the wrong RAM usage for some reason, but it runs but this is two files we need to have both of these in the same directory if I go over to like my home folder and I throw this here and I run this it's not gonna work and you'll see that in this Neutralino JS log it's got some errors because it couldn't find the file so what we gotta do to make these all be one file is we can turn them into an app image and an app image is the wonderful new, actually it's not that new, Linux package format. It's cross distro. You download it. It's one file per app. They're the best thing since package managers. And they're pretty useful for, you know, getting your app to work on basically every distribution of Linux without having to deal with package managers and, you know, different package formats. App image is the way to go. So, what you gotta do to make your app image is first you gotta make an app DIR. As you can see, I've already got one here, which will work, but I'm gonna show you how to make it because this is the bulk of the thing. So, make a folder, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it subscribe, and then name it at the end dot app with a capital A, DIR with a capital D. All right, we've got this folder now. Inside of here, you're going to want to make a folder called USR, which is not short for user, it's short for Universal System Resources, and then make another one called bin, because this is where your app would theoretically go if it was installed with a package manager, so you put the stuff in there. Next, take whatever files need to be in the same directory and put them inside of this folder here. Now I can go back out to the main app DIR. And we got to do a couple things. So first, our app needs an icon. So get your app icon, wherever that is. I've got it right here. I'll just paste it there. It has to be a 256 by 256 pixel PNG image, just so that you know. And now we've got this, you know, here. We need to do another thing. We need to make a desktop entry for it. So I'm going to subscribe.desktop. Oops. I meant to open this with Kate. And no, I'm not switching to Kate for my code editing. You probably know how to make a desktop file, but it's not exactly what you would think. So first things first, you know the brackets desktop entry and then name equals subscribe to cuck me curb and then we'll do here's where it gets interesting oh this name should be capitalized by the way capitalize your things exec equals and instead of doing that path to the executable what you'll do is 
just the name of the executable, because it's in USR slash bin, that means that if it were actually there, it would be in your path, meaning that you could run it without putting the actual file path in there. And the app image is basically emulating that. So, I believe it was called subscribe-linux, and then icon equals, and this is also simulating the icon being in your icon directory, so just put the name of the file like that. And I know it says cookmecurve.png, don't put .png here, it will not work. Trust me, I've tried it and I was so confused for a while. Then type equals application, obviously. And if you want to do categories, you can do categories. I'm just going to do utility, even though this isn't very useful. And we can save that. That's all you got to do for this. Now, we can't just have this here. We got to give it execution permissions. So, mod plus x and why can't I drag it into the thing okay that that's not working so all right bam modded now if you try and run this desktop file right now it's not gonna work because the icon isn't gonna be found and the executable is also not going to be found the app image will fix all this for us. We don't have to worry about it. Now we need to do one more thing. We need to make an app run file. Now, app image, app run files basically start the app. They tell the app image what to do. And there is a default one that you can download off the internet that app image tool makes, but it doesn't work on neutrally no apps. And I don't know why, but that's okay because we can make our own super easily and it'll weigh less in the end as well, which is nice because, you know, more lightweight, it's always good. So, make a new file, call it app run with a capital A and a capital R. And this is going to be a shell script. Pop it open with Kate. This is a shell script, so start with hash exclamation mark bin slash bash. Since everyone's got bash you'd probably do sh2 but I haven't tested it with that so just do bash it'll work now we'll do self in all caps so that it's a variable equals dollar sign and in parentheses read link dash f and then quotes dollar sign zero what does this do it figures out where it is. Then we'll do here in all caps equals, and you can name these whatever you want, by the way, it doesn't really matter. That's what, just what I'm going to do. Equals self in all caps percent slash star. So this basically like opens the, the actual directory. And then exec in all caps equals and then in quotes dollar sign in curly brackets here slash usr slash bin slash and then the name of your executable so mine is subscribe dash linux and close quotes now we just have to do exec and then exec in all caps. Oh, actually, exec and then dollar sign and in curly brackets like that. That's how it should be. Save that and then open your terminal again and give it execution permission. I can't drag stuff into my terminal. That's so weird. I could do it like yesterday. That's weird. The consequences of using Wayland, I guess. And if we run this, I'm 99% sure that it will actually work, unlike the desktop file. I don't know though, so let's try it. Yep, it worked, perfect. Awesome, that's what we wanna see. So now, 
we got this thing here, but like, how do we pack this? This is just more files. How do we make this all in one thing? Well, it's actually quite simple. You have to download this program called App Image Tool. I'll put a link in the description to their GitHub. And what do you know about App Image Tool is actually an app image. All you gotta do is run it, give it the directory path to your app DRR. So you'll do, and when you run this, it's gonna give you an error. Bam, error right there, but that's okay. It's an easy fix. Just run the same command, but with an environment variable with the architecture you want. So I'm on 64-bit x86, so just do arch equals x86 underscore 64. I don't know why we don't call this AMD 64, but whatever. Hit enter, and whoa! We got an app image, and it just puts it in whatever your working directory is. So now I've got this app image. If we run it, hey look! It works, and clicking this button might not work. I don't know if it will. No, it's not gonna work. We'll get a notification with an error in it in a second. But as you can see, this gets the job done. There's the error I was telling you about. And if we open this with App Image Launcher, we can integrate and run. And now, it shows up in my, my U Launcher menu. So, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember that free will is nothing more than an illusion.